Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is the technical analysis, chart analysis, and fundamental analysis for November 22nd, 2021. Now, something interesting we want to look at is if you look at between July 2017 to now, uh, at Basically, if you compare four years ago to now, if you basically uh, stagger it or like push it back by about three or four days or a week, we basically mirror 20, uh, 2017. So maybe in a few days, we'll start going parabolically up like we did in 2017. It's hard to say, but if you actually just like look at from July forward, we do mirror it very, very closely. So that's some positive news because we could, we could actually get a parabolic run there. So let's actually move on to the actual technicals. One day technical, we have a sell right here, but the oscillators are actually buy, and here's why. The relative strength index is 14. So, I mean, I mean, the RSI is actually 40, which is neutral. The, sto the stochastic, however, is 12, which means it's actually oversold. Um, the average directional index, which is a base between zero and 100, zero being a weak trend and 100 being strong trend, 18.72, fairly weak trend. That means like, um, it, like, even though the stochastic is very much oversold, that doesn't mean it's a trend. And that's why it's kind of a buy right now because they think it's going to be, it's going to be oscillating back. It's not like a strong trend to one side. So right now I'm looking at a buy for the oscillators. In terms of moving averages on the daily, basically the 10, the 20, the 30, the, uh, and even the 50, you have to get to the 100 before it's actually like the exponential moving average is actually greater than the simple moving average. That means that um, essentially if you wait towards the last few days, or if you wait towards the last few days, both on the 10, 20, 30, and 50 days, it's actually uh, the momentum is on the sell side. So that's why the moving average is on the sell side. Overall, the summary is more to the sell side than the buy side. So for me right now, I think this is actually right. This is the last week of the month. I am like a very, very weak sell right now for um, maybe like the next couple of days because usually the last week of the month is not that great for cryptocurrencies. I do believe it'll probably oscillate between 55 and 60 for, or maybe even go down to 54 uh, and go between 54 and 60 until Friday. After Friday, I am a little bit more bullish. So one week, to, if you, we look at that, now we get into neutral for oscillators and strong buy for moving averages. Now, the relative strength index and the stochastic um, are both more towards the overbought territory. I mean, RSI is basically neutral. Stochastic, now you're looking at the overbought, but uh, the average directional index is pretty neutral. It's 23. It's definitely not very strong, but not excessively weak either. So it's kind of neutral right now in terms of the oscillators. Um, it's not really moving to one direction or the next. However, the moving averages, the exponential moving average for 10 days and the simple moving average for 10 days is almost equal to each other, which means there's very little momentum either way. It's only off by 100 bucks. That's really not much. But if you look at 20, uh, if you actually look at 20 weeks and 30 weeks, it it is a pretty strong buy because the momentum is shifting towards buy on 20 weeks and 30 weeks. Um, on 50 weeks, which is more than a year, it's sell. But the thing is like, People don't really look at 50 weeks. People more look at 20 and 30 weeks um, and 10 weeks. And at that, we have a fairly strong buy. And you know, like if you look out to, on a weekly, on a long term, the next couple of months, I am fairly bullish. Mainly, uh, partially, it is because of that chart showing that 2021 is mirroring 2017 from about July on out. On the monthly, it's also a fairly strong buy. The oscillators are actually more moving towards... Um, Oh, the oscillators are much more moving towards overbought, but the average directional index is actually much, much stronger. It's still not super strong, not like an 80, 90 range, but it's good enough to actually make it neutral, even though that it does look like the oscillators does are moving toward the overbought stage. They're not overbought yet, but they're, they are moving to, uh, towards the overbought stage. However, like, um, like I said, the directional index does actually indicate that it could actually be a positive trend on the monthly. And in terms of the moving averages, the exponential moving average for 10 days is actually, uh, for 10 months, is actually below, and that's because the last month has been really bad. But if you look at 20, uh, 30, uh, 50, and even 100 months, obviously it is a strong buy. So I think the, uh, 20, 30, the 20 and 30 months overpower the 10, and 
realistically, it's only really been, I mean, it's been up and down the last few months, but if you actually look at the last six months since June, um, I think that's more of a trend right there, and that's why it's actually a strong buy. I agree with that. I do think this bull run is going to probably run into next year, probably like end of Q1 next year. So for the next couple of months, it is a buy for me. So if you look at the moving averages outside of this month, I think they actually agree. And I think after this Friday, you're going to see some of that in action right now. Um, so realistically right now, um, hasn't really changed much since Friday. On the daily, like for the rest of this week until Friday, I'm not that bullish. But on a weekly and monthly basis, I am still very, very bullish. If you look at the uh, BTC USD longs, um, the longs really haven't moved. They've actually gone up to 33,000. The shorts have actually changed pretty significantly. I mean, not like super significantly, but they were only at 1,000 before. Now they're at 1,700. The longs still outnumber the shorts by around 20 to 1, but it was like, uh, but it was actually like 30 to 1 before. So there are more shorts right now. So there's more people betting against Bitcoin than there were before, but the longs still kind of dominate. So maybe after the futures expiry on Friday, um, we'll have like more of a wash. And, but, uh, and after the futures expiry on Friday, I do expect the market to actually go up. Friday is the last uh, Friday of the month, and that's when a lot of the futures actually expire. But there are a few more bets on shorts, although still not that significant uh, than there are longs. So it's starting to even out a little bit, but not that much. And the longs aren't super, super high like they were back in July. Um, they're actually like pretty average, but the shorts are just like way, way, uh, in my opinion, are like, really the amount of shorts is like pretty pretty small right now and uh yeah the longs are pretty much been average for like since like the last year around where we are right now so that's kind of where i am right now um daily like the next few days i'm kind of bearish uh, but you know the next couple of weeks i'm bullish and the next couple of months i'm bullish there is a theory that people are gonna have to sell cryptos to buy black friday presents not really sure how uh, how correct that is but we shall actually see in the future. But like I said, last uh, week of the month, generally not that great for Bitcoin overall and cryptos overall. So over the next few days, I'm not really that bullish. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.